Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ok Terlebih dahulu saya harap semua orang sihat Sepanjang PKP ni <coughs> Ok because saya pun uh, Cuba menyihatkan diri juga Ok uh, Pertama sebab kita pun risau Wabak ada kaitan dengan Semua demam dan sebagainya Tapi kadang-kadang Bila kita sebelum ni bekerja Kena tiba-tiba terkurung dalam rumah So you boleh demam juga sebenarnya Bila you tak boleh nak keluar Otak you pun rasa sempit And then you makan tidur, makan tidur kan? Saya tak tahulah you all ada Macam-macam aktiviti dan sometimes Kita terpaksa buat exercise Dalam Indoor kan, tapi tak sama macam Kita buat exercise outdoor lah Okay, walking dan sebagainya Okay uh, So saya harap semua orang dalam keadaan yang Sihat insyaAllah, walau macam mana pun Okay, UITM dan juga IPT, diorang dah mula untuk kita Buat start Uh, kelas secara online Jadi this is my responsibility Okay so saya akan upload Maksudnya untuk kelas lecture Dah tak adalah 2 jam eh? Jadi course description nanti Untuk next class uh, Kita akan buat terus masuk chapter Dan uh, Discussion hanya Kita buat uh, waktu tutorial So you tengok dalam timetable Waktu tutorial you pukul berapa dan hari apa Dan waktu tu lah yang kita akan Discuss melalui whatsapp group kita akan discuss melalui WhatsApp group. Maksudnya saya akan jawab persoalan-persoalan daripada you all lah dalam WhatsApp group untuk saya terangkan. Mungkin saya akan guna uh, beberapa traditional method seperti uh, mungkin nak buat calculation dan sebagainya. Saya terpaksa show lah dekat situ uh, macam mana cara secara detail dan sebagainya. Kadang-kadang susah kita nak faham kalau melalui video dan sebagainya. Tengok macam mana nanti kita akan gunakan method. Dan macam biasa untuk lecture saya akan upload melalui YouTube. Jadi as a proof for attendance you have to subscribe and like. Jangan lupa ya. Eh. Okay so kita continue untuk uh, code ECO415. Okay. Uh, untuk code ni. Okay kalau you tengok dekat sini. Um, saya dah bagi dah dekat you all attachment. So you boleh tengok dan rujuk. So ECO415 ia adalah economics. Kadang-kadang. Bila waktu final exam sebelum ni Ok, bila kita tanya you At the end of the course uh, Code pun you Tak berapa nak clear kat situ Jadi, is a ECO415 is a economics What the meaning of economics? It should be cover macro and micro Ok Alright uh, For your information No final exam Ok, so but we focus on fully assessment It means that it's a 50% And finally, we convert to 100%. Jadi, saya nak terangkan secara detail. This is a very, very new assessment. Yang kita dapat lah. Tak sama macam assessment sebelumnya. Okay, uh, saya terangkan beberapa dulu. Berkaitan dengan cost content. Kita dah cover introduction to economics. Okay, we, we already define what is economy, what is a macro, what is a micro, what is the scope of economics. Okay, what is a basic economic concept and basic economic problem like WH equation. Okay, saya dah terang. And then chapter 2 is a demand and then a supply analysis already cover. So, kita ada demand, kita ada supply, kita ada law of demand, kita ada law of supply dan kita ada dia punya uh, curve dia. Dan kita dah buat dah pun hari tu. And the famous question is determination. And also uh, the change in demand versus change in quantity demand. <coughs> Next is a chapter 3, elasticity and its application. I think I already discussed about this. So we have PED, IED, CED, okay, and IED. And every... Elasticity, they have their own calculation that you have to know. Saya akan tunjuk nanti. It's a simple calculation and you have to know they have their own degree. Like elastic, inelastic, uh, unitary elastic. Okay. <coughs> so, you boleh tengok. And the degree can be transferred to the, we can convert it by diagram. Okay. Next is a chapter 4. It's a market equilibrium. For the market equilibrium, actually, okay, uh, it's a it's a point, okay, uh, when there is a the, when it's a demand and supply interaction between demand and supply, so that is a equilibrium. It's mean that we have one price and one quantity, okay. 
Alright, so dekat sini kita akan discuss about the price control. Why is a price control? Price control is a price that imposed by the government to control some uh, situation. Okay, so whether it's a price floor or shilling price. Okay, and they have their own diagram. You can tahu lah. Next adalah chapter 5. It's a theory of production and cost. <clears throat> what is the theory of production and cost? Theory of production and cost, actually, uh, we are talking about the firm. Yes, of course, it's about the firm, it's about the output, it's about the input. Okay, so uh, when we talk the production, actually, how this firm, okay, they produce the output by using this input. Okay, input like raw materials. We have land, labor, capital, entrepreneur. So, this is um, factors of production, inputs. Okay. And they use input to produce the output. Alright. And bila, when we talk about the theory of production, there is a stage of production. That is stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. And this will convert to the diagram. So, which, uh, which is, is the efficient stage? I'm going to explain. Eh? And then when we talk about the profit, okay, so we have economic profit versus accounting profit, okay, there's no calculation, alright, 4415, no calculation, and we talk about the production cost, production cost, we have short run and long run, and you have to know the formula, okay, uh, cost of production, we have total cost equal to total fixed cost plus dengan total, Variable cost. So, they are the TFC, they are the TVC, they are the EFC, they are the AVC dan sebagainya. So, you akan tengok. And the last one, we should cover about the economy of scale and this economy of scale. And they also have a diagram. Okay? Okay, next we will cover the theory of firms. Untuk topik ECO415 agak detail eh. You kena ni. So, kita cover theory of firm and market structures. So, when we talk about the theory of firms and market structures, we will discuss about the perfect competition. There is a four types of market structures. There is a perfect competition, monopoly, oligopoly, and monopolistic competition. Okay, the important thing is, I think to make it more easier to remind, okay, you make it in table. Because they have their own characteristic. Okay, for every market structures, they have their own diagram. And the important thing is how you determine the profit maximizing. You have two approach, uh, total approach. Another one is a profit maximizing. You boleh tengok nanti. And then kita cover macroeconomic. Okay, macroeconomic, you should be start with the macroeconomic objective. Why is a macroeconomic objective? Every country, they have their own objective to achieve. Eh? So, the first one is a full employment. Of course, there is no unemployment. Okay. Uh, the country like US. Okay. Um, they, they give allowance to who uh, no job or being unemployed. Okay. So, they have to make sure that their unemployment rate is within the rate okay and then uh we also cover the price stability one of the objective is a price stability price stability means uh there's no inflation but it's impossible for that country to get the zero inflation and actually inflation they have their own rates uh example like between three to four percent so if the country is more than the rate okay so uh, they have to, you know, further look for their price. Price mean not only one price of product. It should be cover the basket of goods and services. Okay, that is a price stability. And another word is inflation. What about economic growth? Okay, if your price stability was stable and then there is no unemployment or we can say it's a full employment, so, uh, 
should be your income of your country also increase and finally from the calculation you can you can get the economic growth also in the increasing rate okay so this is uh, good for the country and of course the purchasing power parity also can be good and finally we can we can have a better quality of life okay that is the objective that every country want uh, or try to be achieved okay and then next we cover on the how to calculate the national income how to calculate the national income okay you have to know the circular flow of diagram we have two sector three sector and four sector and we have three methods of calculation uh, on calculate the national income we have expenditure approach we have product approach and the last one we have income approach okay there's a calculation of national income eh? And for the theory for this topic is you have to know what is the uses of national income. Uh, okay, example like to measure the performance of the sector contribution for that country. So we, we that is one of the uses uh, for national income example. Eh? And then you have to know how or what is a problem occur when you are calculate the national income. Okay. And then next is uh, chapter 9, it's a public policy. When we talk about the public policy, it means that you have to discuss about the fiscal policy. Fiscal, what is the meaning of fiscal? Okay, fiscal policy means you are using government expenditure and taxes to control these two macroeconomic problems, which is inflation and unemployment rate. Okay, and then uh, from this topic, you have to know what is the source of uh, government revenue and what is a source of uh, what is a government expenditure? It's a developed and also the operating expenditure. Okay, and then uh, chapter ten we should cover about the macroeconomy problem. We only have two macroeconomy problem, which is inflation and unemployment, and they have their own diagram. For unemployment, no diagram, but the famous question for Unemployment is a types of unemployment. Okay, for inflation, there's two types of inflation. We have demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. And for for the exam question, okay, they always asking about uh, explain the types of inflation by using diagram. Okay, all right. And then uh. The last chapter is international economy. Okay, international economy is, uh, it's about the international trade. Okay, it's about the export, import. When we talk about the trade, why we do a trade? Why the country need, uh, why, uh, the country A need country B and country B need country C? Why they are depends each other? Okay, because there is an advantage of international trade. So we are going to discuss the advantage of international trade. But when we open our economy, should be every country, they must have a protectionism. Okay, if they don't have any protectionism, it's not good. Because for every country, there is a developed country, there is a developing country. And there is a poor countries. Okay, so the technology is not same, the development is not same. The country, uh, the income of the country is also not same. Okay, so this has some um, protectionism for every country when we do international trade. And then we should cover about the balance of payment. Okay, that's all. <sighs> In the assessment, I also suggest several soft textbooks. Okay, this, that is a uh, suggestion. And... Apa namanya nota saya yang saya tu mungkin saya akan kompot dalam bentuk uh, bentuk e ya uh, maksudnya elektronik means uh, saya akan kompot dalam bentuk pdf ke tengok macam mana nanti kita akan upload uh, because of that is of my personal notes jadi saya akan pdf kan dia okay tengok macam mana nanti saya akan settle kan but this is suggestion only you can use any of reference it's up to you because of you are students you memang kena ada materials. 
you can search in library you can google and then you can find any youtube yang you selesa banyak sangat sekarang any information okay semua ada dekat hujung jari okay alright so dekat dalam tu juga saya ada bagi beberapa penilaian Okay, untuk test 1 cover chapter berapa, untuk assignment 1 cover chapter berapa, assignment 2 cover chapter berapa dan juga final assessment. Eh? Okay, teaching methodology memang saya akan upload lecture notes dalam video YouTube. You all kena tengok. So, saya akan uh, upload by chapter by chapter. You have to subscribe and like to show and as a proof for your attendance. Okay, dan kita akan buat test melalui Google Classroom dan uh, WhatsApp discussion akan ikut and follow waktu tutorial di timetable ok so dekat dalam tu saya dah senaraikan individual assignment kita ada writer report, dia ada calculation dan juga essay so you boleh tengok dekat situ, kita ada writer report Okay, and then kita ada analyze beberapa konsep dan government issues. <tuh> Tapi saya nak you create semuanya dalam bentuk e-magazine. Okay, e-magazine dan gunakan infografik dan tidak lebih daripada 10 muka surat. Okay, and then you email dekat my.sadia at gmail.com. Okay, link untuk YouTube saya adalah Deja Bu Hafiz. Saya ada letak dekat dalam assessment. Okay. Alright, kalau ada sebarang pertanyaan, ni boleh WhatsApp dalam group. Kalau ada sebarang benda yang keliru dan sebagainya, kita boleh discuss. Jadi, saya akan, next nanti saya akan upload chapter. Kita ikut chapter yang kita kita dah cover lah. Next chapter. Maksudnya, kita tak akan ulang balik chapter 1, chapter 2, no. Kita akan cover uh, chapter yang terakhir mengikut kelas yang terakhir hari tu. Okay, so saya harap semua orang faham dan saya doakan semua orang, okay, sihat sejahtera insyaAllah. Okay, kita sama-sama doa. Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.